Police and environmental protesters is underway this lunchtime outside Britain's largest coal-fired power station in North Yorkshire. Six campaigners have already been arrested on what's been called a mass day of action against carbon emissions. Hundreds of protesters have marched on the Drax power station near Selby in an attempt to shut it down, but so far have found their paths blocked by police. Well, our reporter Carl Dinnan is there now. Carl. Well, Krishna, as you join us in the shadow of the towers, the cooling towers of the Drax power station, there are only a small handful of protesters here. Most of them are still making their way from the protesters' camp, where they've been for some days. There are two large groups on their way from there now, but being held up and, and made to go quite slowly by police. Six arrests so far, two for carrying offensive weapons, and just four for trespass as of yet. Lindsay Taylor has been following the morning's events. It all started good-natured enough as hundreds of protesters began marching towards the plant, many with families in tow, underlining the demonstrators' belief about the threat to future generations. They say Drax is the UK's biggest single emitter of carbon dioxide and they want it closed. Confrontation came though when police blocked the protesters' route at the top of a lane. There was pushing and shoving as officers tried to hold the line. Police said they recognised the right to legitimate peaceful protest and were in the process of explaining that when they appeared to be somewhat outflanked. Organisers of demonstrations should liaise with the police to avoid serious disorder, to avoid serious damage to property and to avoid serious disruption. As one group broke away down one side, others also tried to break through and there were minor scuffles. causing bloody trouble. You're the ones in this situation. Many had camped in sight of the plant ahead of what's been billed as a day of creative mass action. Built in the 1970s, Drax provides 7% of the UK's electricity and is twice as big as any other power station in the UK. No one here is aiming for this to be a violent protest. Um, the safety of everyone involved is, is, is paramount in everyone's minds. Um, there are people here who, who feel so strongly about these issues and who feel that this is a necessary tactic to draw attention to it, who are willing to break the law. Breaking through the other side! So far it seems only a handful have slipped past the police lines as they try to get closer to the plant. Some taking the route across fields. Already there have been a number of arrests. Well, Krishna, joining me now is Leo Murray, who's a climate change activist and who uh, we followed across some of the fields today. Uh, Leo, many people will regard this place as essential to the nation. It provides so much of our electricity. Why do you want it shut down? Because um, the energy that's produced here is not energy that we need to live. It's energy that we need to live in the way that we've become accustomed to. And unfortunately for all of us, that is not sustainable. It's just not sustainable. It's something everybody needs to, ex it needs to accept. But it's the way we live now. We can't just shut it down and, and suddenly expect everyone to change. No, indeed, but um, uh, I think that everybody that's come to protest today uh, has a, an understanding that uh, thinking that governments and corporations are going to solve this problem for us is a fantasy, and they're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, very briefly, do you expect to see the law broken here today, and is it ever justifiable for this sort of protest? I would expect the law to be, uh, see the law be broken here today, and of course it's justifiable. I, I, history will spit on those of us in this generation who did nothing to avert this disaster. Okay, Leo Murray, thank you for joining us, uh, and we'll be keeping across the protests throughout the day, Krishnan. Carl Dinnan in North Yorkshire.